Okay, this is going to be a um, different style of video that I usually put up, but I feel like I just had to do this. And I, I don't mean had as an obligated to. I mean had to as in I wanted to do this for myself and just so I can get things off my chest and keep, just put this out there, okay? Okay, so mainly the reason, the, the most recent reason that uh, contributes to me having to put this video up now and not before is because there's this guy out there. Let me let me catch you guys up to speed. There's a guy who, long story short, doesn't like my, one of my good good buddies from on here that I've met in person. I, I know what kind of person he is, Ravi. I saw him battery seven seven seven. He dislikes this guy. Ravi doesn't like him. We met up in uh, Atlanta. Ravi doesn't like him. He doesn't like Ravi. Same story. I took the time to stop and talk to this guy. I was just like, hey, so what's up? Uh, you, how are you liking Mania? I can't even remember what we talked about. But this guy is in line to meet Christian. I'm not in line to meet anybody. So I'm taking time away from going to meet other wrestlers to talk to this guy. But yet I'm the bad guy. Okay, So, so I talked to this guy. And then he's like, oh, the line's moving. So I got to go. I'm just like, whatever then. If you're just going to keep walking, you know, whatever. <clears throat> then a couple months passed by after Mania. I'm the bad guy because I'm associated with Ravi, as is, which pretty much will be the trend of this video. And I'm just like, it, it, it irks me because, like, what did I do? I was nothing but nice to you in Atlanta. Now you're just, you're, I guess I'm this bad person. If I'm a bad person, why do you keep going out of your way to watch my videos? Why do you keep going out of your way to talk, try and talk to me? Why do you keep going out of your way to try and friends people, friend people who are friends with me? And the click. The click is the funniest thing ever. I've, I've, <laughs> the imagination you guys have and the time you guys put into these things is hilarious. I'm associated with Ravi, Stevie Breach, and Luke Cage, and other people who I'll mention in a minute here. We're the clique. We're a group of bad people. We only talk to guys with a lot of subscribers. If you don't have, if you don't have a partnership, we're not gonna talk to you. Um, we won't watch your videos just because you don't have a thousand views and this and that. Okay. First of all. I don't talk to only people that have a thousand subscribers. I talk to people who don't even make videos on YouTube. I talked as that goes to show you. I got to know them, and I'm still talking to them now because they're cool cats. You know, I like talking wrestling with them. And but no, I only friend people who are. Uh, I talked to Stevie Beach when he had like a hundred subscribers. Look at him now. Good for the guy. You know where he's at now. I mean. Um, it's just hilarious the way you guys think about these kind of things. I talk to people like NWA Wrestling fan Matt Damp. Well, I used to talk to Matt Damp. He doesn't get online anymore. Um, Man on, Man on Fire 310. Oh, Phenomenal X. Um, who else? Who else? Uh, I think those are like pretty much the main people I talk to. But did you guys know any of those names I just dropped? You probably don't. And it's no offense to them. It's just either they don't make videos or they don't they don't make them as often. But Again, I only talk to people with partnerships, right? The people that have met me in person, whether it be in Phoenix for WrestleMania 26 or in Atlanta for WrestleMania 27, besides this one guy, has anyone come out there and said, I met freaking, yeah, he was the worst guy ever. I always stop and talk to everybody, and it's not an act. It's because I truly, you know, I'm, I appreciate the fact that you guys find me and you come and talk to me. I, I mean, there's guys, I mean, there's guys that I go and talk to, but that's because I recognize them, but... There's people that I probably don't know who they are, so, you know, just, I don't go up to them, but then when they come to me, I stop and talk to them. There is a guy who, he's probably watching this video now, I was at the uh, the line for, um, at Axis this year, to take the picture with the uh, WWE Championship belt, because all the other people that were signing were not good, so I didn't want to waste my time on that. He came and talked to me, and his dad was, like, behind him, like, kind of like, like, this is kind of weird, but the, the kid comes up to him and he starts talking to me like, hey, so who do you think is going to win tomorrow? And he's like, do you think Sheamus and Daniel Bryan is going to be the dark match? And I'm just talking to this guy and then he's like, all right, well, thanks for talking. And he just leaves. I'm just like, oh, well, like, whatever. That's how it's always been. I've met people like the real or Insta Classic A, Honor Hammer 26, um, Billy Paz, you know, and all these people that usually don't get, you know, they don't, at least I don't think, they look at as bad people. They don't turn around and have bad things to say about me. I'm not a bad guy. I'm just, I, I'm on here making wrestling videos, sometimes the occasional sports videos, and it, that's that's it. YouTube's not my life. If it's if it's your guys' life, then that's fine. But don't try and, you know, start shit with me just because things aren't working out for you on YouTube. I mean, if, if YouTube is your number one priority in life, then you I think you need to re really reevaluate the priorities in your life. And, you know, this whole click thing, Yes, I talk to people that start shit with other people. I try and reason with Ravi a lot of times. When he, did, he had this thing with Dallas Cowboys fan, 777. I was friends with Dallas Cowboys fan. A lot of people probably don't know that, but I was. 
I don't know if he'll admit that if he's as if, he, if he's out there, but he knows I was because I talked to him. Um, <clears throat> there was times where I recall telling Ravi, "Just let this go. This is getting stupid now. Like this is dumb." And that's all I can do. I can't. I don't hold any power to the guy. You guys act like, well, you're friends with him. Tell him to stop. I I try telling him a lot of times. It's not that he's a bad guy. It's just that sometimes he's a little thick-headed and he just wants to fuck around with people. And it's the same thing. You guys turn around and fuck with him. And then when he turns around and tries to give you guys a dose of your medicine, he's the bad guy. So, like, what are you supposed to do? Just sit there and take it? Which, which leads me to the whole blocking thing. If I blocked you on Twitter or on YouTube, you've probably deserved it. I go on these things to have fun. I don't like to go on here and have to think about, oh, man, I hope this guy didn't, didn't like, oh, talk shit about me today. Oh, what did this guy do now? No, I go on here and have fun. Why should I have to put up with your guys' shit over something that should be fun and not a chore? You know, it's turning into a chore having to block a lot of you assholes, but you know, it is what it is. For example, if you're in a room, if you're sitting in a room, there's a fly circling around, just annoying the shit out of you and your friend. Your friend tells you, don't kill the fly, you're a pussy, or you can't handle the truth, which is a funny thing that I get, or and other people get when you block them on here. You can't handle the truth. If your friend tells you, don't kill the fly, are you going to listen to him? No, you're going to kill the fly because it's annoying you. You don't want to have to deal with it. Why should you have to sit in a room and deal with an annoying ass fly? No, so you're going to squash it because you have a you have a fly swatter. In this case, my fly swatter is the, the block button. I don't like dealing with you guys, so you're gone. Why well, should I have to put up with your shit over something that should be fun and not not a drag? There's there's people on here like, um I don't know the situations and how this all happened, but there's people like it's CJ Punk. Uh, he had to close down his channel. I don't know what happened in that whole thing, but apparently the guy was getting bullied. Like, really? Is that your guys' goal? To make people close down their channels? I mean, you guys got Gemini off YouTube, and you guys act like, oh, yes, it's we got the almighty Gemini off. He got off because he wanted to. It's not because you guys were getting to him. I mean, he, you guys probably think all these assumptions about Gemini are just hilarious. Like, if you guys talk to him, I talk to the guy on a daily basis. He's nothing but a good guy at heart. I mean, these Xena videos that he used to make back in the day, I'm pretty sure he would have stopped making them if you guys would stop going to watch them. I mean, Gemini was pretty much uh, into views back then, and he and I'm pretty sure he'll admit that. He he, he got a kick out of making a 30-second video having like 6,000 people view it in two days. You know, it's you guys act like, well, this is shit, I'm going to go thumbs it down. You really think that's going to make him stop? No, it's going to make him add more and more and more because you guys are going to keep watching and watching and watching. That's how it was. And all these channels that he's opening up, it's thanks to you guys. You guys pushed him to this stage where he has to make a couple of videos to get some point of views across on the current state of wrestling. And then he's he makes his points and he closes down the channel. That's how it is. Deal with it. If you don't like it, then don't fucking go out of your way and go to his YouTube channel. Let the man live his life the way he wants to. Obviously, we let you guys live your lives and troll everyone you pl goddamn please to. <sighs> just a lot of things I had to get off my chest here. It's just idiotic. And these people that, some of these people who, they'll go to my videos and they're like, oh, good review, blah, 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 blah. They turn around and they go to the uh, someone else's channel who made a video trashing me. And they're like, oh, good job. I never liked that guy. And then I find out, I blocked that person. They're like, what did I do? Come on, I'm not stupid. I don't go out there and watch those videos, but fortunately, I have a couple of friends that, you know, get a kick out of watching that stuff. I mean, so do I, but I get a kick out of hearing what they said, not watching them, because I can't stand looking at some of these people's idiotic faces while they try and sound smart, because the only thing they can do to get views is trash other people and not give their opinions about wrestling. They tell me what, I, what they say, and I'm just like, well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> okay, that's good for them, you know? So, you know, if, if you get blocked, don't act like you, like you, there's no reason for me to block you because I'm pretty pretty sure I find, I find out about these kind of things. And it's funny because a lot of of um, my younger subscribers, they'll go out and they'll find these videos and sometimes share them with me. And I'm like, I don't want it, but thanks. And, yeah, you know, it's, it is what it is. And um, if you really think I'm a bad person... How about you try and talking to pretty much at least a couple of people that you talk to because if they're friends with me, then shouldn't there be like a little bit of hypocrisy there? Somehow these people look at me and they're like, this guy's an asshole, but they're friends with someone who's friends with me. So if you think they're friends with you because you think you're a good person, so why do you think they're friends with me? Anyways, <sighs> got a lot of stuff off my chest. Sorry about this, guys. Hopefully this is the last time I have to put this up, but um, yeah, thank you guys for watching.